I've just installed cavity insulation in my um, 1980s bungalow and I've installed attic insulation. Is there anything else I can do to help with air tightness? Um, well, look, installing cavity insulation or attic insulation actually makes little or no difference to your air tightness because they're not there for air, tight air tightness. They're there to improve the insulation or, um, or thermal capacity of the outer skin or outer envelope of your house. So to improve the air tightness, you would have to install an air tightness membrane in your first floor ceilings. You would have to go around and look at your walls. Is there any gaps in your walls? Is there any cracks? Um, have them all filled uh, to go take it to a totally other level. You could start installing inter air tightness um, membranes or a, a product called a parge coat on your external walls. But this is you're getting into very invasive nature here. Uh, now, you could look underneath your skirting boards as there'll be gaps underneath your skirting boards that's well worth looking at because you could easily be losing air there uh, underneath your window boards because uh, like when a skirt when the window board is laid um and that and the heat is applied to your house it, you, you tend to get a little bit of local movement with the with the window board versus your plaster so you get gaps and gaps mean air leakage uh, when you look at your skirting board depending uh, on how that was laid day one there could be very well be um, uh, gaps underneath your skirting board so again more air leakage around all your windows and doors of course a key place where you're losing air and um, so if you're getting uh, so you could you could install air tightness membranes around your windows and doors particularly if you, if you think of installing new windows and doors because you've an opportunity there now that you've taken off the the, the plaster surrounds on the in, on the insides um you could do an air tightness test and see where you're leaking energy um or leaking air um it may be that you've too much vents in your house existing uh, you'd have to just get that you'd have to get advice from that um um beyond getting your air tightness test done um but that that's another source so there are loads of sources of course one other key one is um, your plumbing electrics um where are your pipes coming through walls where are wires coming through walls that's another key area where you can be uh, losing uh, losing warm air through air leakage so that's another place you can look as well